Hello everyone, I'm Siddharth from Icon Labs and we are back with an exciting series of videos covering over there upgrades OTM on remotely deployed IoT edge devices. So today we will cover updating or copying data to a fleet of IoT edge devices. So we all would have encountered the need to transfer or update DBs on our remote IoT edge devices. As an example on the digital billboards you might have to update the ad to be played on the screen or as simple as updating the certificate on these remotely deployed devices so today we will discuss how we can update or transfer file or data without the need for scp to a group of devices okay let's jump into the demo and see how all these can be achieved first thing first sign up at experience.icon.io if you have not done so and start onboarding your remote devices on the portal the complete flow to do so is detailed on once you sign it. Let's hop on. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we have uh, six devices online, three are offline. To do an OTA upgrade, we'll directly jump into the OTA upgrade tab. So here we need to upload the artifacts. So artifacts could be a text file, config file, script file, Debian packages, applications, APKs in case of Android, or full firmware package in a particular format. To create an artifact, we have another tool hosted at artifact.icon.io. I'll now take you through that tool to generate a file or data artifact. So choose the file here. Uh, that's a file type. Next, maybe we'll make it sample data device type. Uh, right now, we are doing it in Raspberry Pi, which is a ARM V7L device. Okay, destination directory would be home by. Let's upload the file. So, I've already created a sample data file. I'm uploading that. Let's do a submit. Okay, the file got downloaded here, as you could see, in the file, as you see here. Now we are going to upload the file on the artifact OT upgrade place. Let's do an upload an artifact sample mender. Done. So you could see here the sample data file already came up. This is the checksum what we have done. Now we'll do a deployment. Uh, we can go to a device where we want to do a deployment. Let's take this device to a deploy start a deployment. Create a deployment first. Deployment name is uh, Test deployment artifact name. We have already done that. Simple data. Okay. Okay, it says done. Yeah, so here we can see that uh, the deployment got finished. So essentially, the upgrade for got finished. We can click inside it and then check out the details. So it took almost 23 minutes 35 seconds. The reason it took so much time because of the frequency of polling from the client to the server. So it was polling uh, every half an hour, so uh, maximum half an hour. Now, uh, so this is one of the states. So success is one of the state. Your uh, deployment could be in any of these states. So before success, it would be either in in progress, pending state, pending an in progress state, right? It could be in failure or skipped state as well as you could see here. So likewise, how we deployed it on one device, we can do it a deployment on bulk of the devices as well by creating this go go inside the deployment tag and then create a deployment and then select a group in which we want to do a bulk deployment yeah now let's quickly connect to the device and see whether the file is being copied or not so this is the device i've already opened the console here so let me do it okay yeah okay we can see this is the file which we have pushed from the controller to this device and it's being copied up here on the uh, place where we wanted it which is home file that's it guys hope you liked and enjoyed the video uh, do write to us if you wish to learn more i'll be happy to answer your queries and see you soon thank you very much bye